Hi and welcome. This tutorial is about Spring Auto Wiring. Auto Wiring is a feature provided by the Spring Framework that helps us to skip some of the configuration that we have to do. Um, we've seen that every member variable in your uh, Spring Bean has to be configured. So if it's actually a reference to another bean, we have to specify the reference explicitly. Now, Auto Wiring helps us in reducing some of the configuration that we have to do by intelligently guessing what the reference is. Now, say for example, let me remove this uh, list that we had created in our earlier tutorial. Now, I have a triangle bean, okay? And uh, in my triangle bean, let's say I have three points, okay? I have a, a private point, point A, point B and point C. Okay, I have three points. Let me generate the getters and setters for this as well. Okay, so now what would I normally have to do? I would have to mention the dependency over here. I would have to have three different property tags and I have to mention the dependency. Now, there is a shortcut here by using auto wiring. Okay. This is editing out again. I'll have to rewrite that. Okay, so there is a shortcut in order to do this wiring automatically. Now, one way to do the shortcut is like this. The name of the beans, if it is same as the name of our member variables over here, we have point A, point B, and point C. Now, let's say the beans have also been defined as point A, point B, and point C. So the names of the beans match the names of the member variables of this bean, which has a dependency. In this case, we can ask Spring to auto-wire beans based on name. So the way to do this is by writing a tag auto wire equals by name. Now what does auto wire by name do? It checks for all the member variables of this bean. Now when you do a get bean here, right? You're doing context or get bean of triangle. Now Spring is going to look at this bean and it sees auto wire equals by name. So what it does is even though you do not have any dependencies here, it's going to check each of these member variables and see if there is any bean with this name defined in the spring.xml. If it finds a bean like that, it's going to automatically reference this bean to this member variable. So now what's going to happen is even though you have not specified any property and any reference here, since these three member variables have the same name as the three beans over here, it's going to automatically wire them up. Now let me finish this uh, draw method to be the same as what was there earlier. Okay, so I've put this draw method back. Now what I'm doing is I'm printing out the point A, point B, and point C values, which is the X and the Y coordinates for each of these points. So now let me save this. Again, note, we are not doing any wiring. We're just saying auto wire by name. And now this is gonna automatically do the dependencies. Let's save the triangle and let's run this. So there you can see the wiring has happened even though we have not specified any ref. And this is thanks to auto wiring. Now there are different ways in which we can auto wire. What we have seen is one of the ways in which we can auto wire, which is by name. There is another way to auto wire, which is by type. And this works if we have only one uh, member variable and only one bean of each type. So say for example, there is only one point object here and there is only one bean that's defined in the XML of that particular class. In that case, what Spring does is it looks for type, even though the bean has been defined in a different name, it looks for the type, which is the class for which the bean has been defined. And then if this class matches the class that the member variable has been defined as, then it automatically does the wiring. So instead of looking for name, it's gonna look for 
the type. It's going to look for the type of the bean. But then the problem here is that if you have more than one, so uh, say, for example, consider this scenario. I have three different point objects. Now, I cannot do a auto wire by type because Spring will not know what to assign to what. But if there was only one member variable here of point and only one bean of point, then auto wire by type would work. Okay, there is a third method in which we can auto wire, and that is called constructor. Auto wire by constructor, sorry for the typo, auto wire by constructor does the same as auto wire by type, but instead of doing a setter injection, it does a constructor injection. So instead of doing a, you know, injecting the values through the setter, say you have a constructor here which takes in, uh, say, three different types and then you have a single bean for each of those types over here, then auto wire by constructor will work. What Spring will do is it'll instantiate these types and then instantiate these beans and pass it to the right types of the constructor. But then again, the condition here is that you need to have only one bean per type. And uh, if you do not specify any auto wire over here, then the default is auto wire off. So it's not going to do any auto wiring. This is what we have seen before. We need to do a manual wiring for each of the references. Okay, so just one final note while auto wire might look like a really cool feature. Uh, well, at least I'm not a very big fan of it because uh, in a real world application where you have a whole lot of beans and a whole lot of dependencies, it's very hard to find out what's happening if it's all being auto wired. Say you have specified the references in each and every bean, then it's very easy to know what the dependencies are and say so you're maintaining an application and you want to debug the uh, dependencies, then it's very easy to find out what the dependencies are by looking at the reference. But if everything is auto-wired, then we will have to guess what Spring is doing and then we'll have to analyze the auto-wiring in order to find out what's happening. So while it's very good and it's a good shortcut for uh, a small amount of beans, if you have a huge system and you have a large amount of beans, it's generally recommended to do explicit wiring and not go for auto-wiring.